Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Plan B. And this is from actor-turned-director Natalie Morales. She's pulling Olivia Wilde and doing her own coming-of-age story. And this is very reminiscent of the same kind of story that I'm pregnant attempted last year, but this one's focusing on a straight-laced young high school girl and her more rebellious best friend go on a journey to try to find Plan B pills after this straight-laced young woman, you know, gets drunk at a party at her house. At a peer pressure, she has this party and then she uh, makes some decisions and has some, has her first sexual experience with a really awkward, super religious kid, and then she feels like she needs to make sure when she finds out that something might have fell off during the uh, exchange, and she might must find this uh, that morning after pill, that plan B, to make sure that she covers her bases, and then we're off on a road trip across South Dakota. And Natalie Morales, I was excited, like, I'm excited of the idea of seeing, like, a actor taking on directing. It's like a second film today that I take a, took a look at along with The Waterman. And you have Morales brings a lot of energy to this film. And she also understands her characters that are in the script written for her by jo uh, Joshua Levy and Prathikasha... Srivatsan, and you have these characters that are so fully realized, these two fr uh, main characters, Sonny and Lupe, played by Kuho Verna and Victoria Morales, and Natalie Morales just really understands these characters, puts them at the forefront, knows how to flesh them out, and gets really great performances out of them. Tonally, this film definitely has some heavier emotional moments, but in general is a comedy, and it leans into that comedy, and for the most part, I laughed a lot watching this movie, And but there's a couple of scenes that really took a lot away from this film for me. There's one particular one that's about a drug deal at a playground that I absolutely hated, and almost completely changed my feelings of the whole entire film. There's also these... Most of the characters in this film have some nuance to them, except they stop off at a gas station at one point, and these two middle-aged guys that are just, like, beyond caricatures and obnoxious and absolutely terrible human beings. Like, I felt like that scene, which was also really close in proximity to that playground scene... So, like, that middle-ish part of the film kind of loses me here. And I got disappointed by that. But then it did draw me back in. And especially as the third act is rolling on, there's some heavier emotional moments. And this film deals with some great themes of, like, obviously them trying so hard to find this pill and it not being accessible to them. And it's having serious commentary on this situation. They... Um, have a doctor who does, like, uh, good conscience clause them and won't sell them the plan B, played by J. J. Chandra Sekar from, like, uh, what is it, Broken Lizard, who does, like, Super Troopers and all those kinds of films, and he's fun as a pharmacist, but, like, it shows that challenge that these young women have not being able to get that access, and you have uh, Sunny who's dealing with the pressures of being like, she has to be perfect all the time, and you've seen that, obviously, you've seen the rebellious teen Lupe before in films. Neither of those arcs are particularly fresh, but they're well done in terms of the tropes that they focus on, and Lupe has some other things she's processing, trying to explain to others about herself and this person that she has feelings for, Logan. And those are some, like, we're definitely seeing more of that in films, but, like, I appreciated it done in this film. And I just feel like sometimes this film dives too deep into crazy over-the-topness, and I had the same exact issue with I'm Pregnant. 
It's just, you're trying to be funny, but focus on an important, significant topic, but you're going way too far with the comedy at times. It just takes you out of the film and totally doesn't work. And I feel like that same thing happens in this film. But I still really enjoyed it and the pacing is very strong. And Verma and Morales both give great performances. They're extremely charismatic. They're really funny. And I enjoyed their interactions. They feel very genuine. This film feels very genuine. And you have a lot of other young actors thrown in here in varying different roles but in general I feel like Plan B is an earnest film it definitely has some scenes that are real misfires but in general most of the film is very genuine and thought out and funny and also has a message to pass along in a meaningful and impactful way and there's some great moments where we feel a triumph. There's some great moments where we feel lost. And I felt invested in right there with them. Even when the film got a little too much into playing it crazy. But in general, I think this is definitely worth checking out right now on Hulu. But those are my thoughts on Plan B. Let me know what you think. And let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.